And I'll tell you what it starts with. It starts with repealing the Military Commissions Act yeah. and the Detainee yeah. Treatment Act and replacing them. Get them out of here. No torture, no indefinite confinement. Right. Yes. It's not American. Worse than that, it's going to cause us to lose the war on terror. It's an absolutely stupid policy. But it destroys America's legitimacy. So number one, we repeal it. Number two, we do a real investigation. I talked to Senator Leahy today, and I ask him to please go deeply, deeply, deeply into how in the world our government and our military officers could have ever been involved in something like Guantanamo, Abu Ghraib, and these kangaroo courts that they call military commissions. That has no place in the American military or in this nation. And the people who put that on us, well, I mean, the truth is that when we run the rabbits down the rabbit hole, they're violating American law, they're violating international law, and they're violating the very basic principles that motivate our American democracy. I've asked leaders in the Senate to consider very seriously what the next administration must do with these people. But first, we've got to get the facts out. Where do the ideas come from and what's the chain of custody of those ideas, the chain of causation of those actions in Guantanamo? and Abu Ghraib and elsewhere. Where were the secret prisons? What was done in our name during rendition? And where are these people who've been disappeared from our custody from all around the world? Those are essential actions to restore legitimacy. And then it's a matter of dialogue, setting forth new principles for the conduct of American policy. We're going to get out of Iraq. I promise you that. And we're going to get out, if I have anything to say about it, the right way by working to pull the region together and create a new vision. You know, diplomacy is not what Jim Baker says. It's not like you go into the house of the Syrian ambassador, you say, hey, Amby, uh, let me just ask you a question. Uh, what's it going to take for you boys to work with us? <laughs> that may be the way oil deals are cut down in Texas, but that's not the way diplomacy works. Diplomacy is about creating a new vision in the region. And we have to create that new vision working with people in the region. Starting with the Iraqis, the Saudis, the Iranians, the Kuwaitis, the Turks, all the people in that region, and including Israel. There has to be a new and better way for men and women and families to live in that part of the globe and prosper and meet their own dreams. And we can help that take place.